What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Beautiful Sunday afternoon. Just taking a little cruise today. Going to do some testing on some full self driving 12.33. Yeah, it was a pretty good weekend. And I just wanted to um, kind of just go over a couple of things the last few days and also the um, full self drive and see how this uh, reaction is around in my neighborhood um, here in New Jersey and we're taking some pretty um, windy roads and whatnot right now I'm in control of the car I don't have anything on uh, I'm gonna set a let's set a destination right here we're gonna go to uh, let's see here Wegmans I'm a Wegmans freak, so we go here a lot. But on a Sunday, yeah, we're gonna make some dinner tonight and we're gonna do some uh, barbecued ribs and get a couple other things going on tonight. But I figured I'd make this video real quick just to kind of recap the whole week and then where we stand going into tomorrow. Um, especially on the, uh, as you can tell, I, got a, I have something uh, mapped out real quick. I'm gonna engage full self-driving, as you can tell right here. Um, and you'll be able to see uh, I do have the blue line that's there. I am uh, basically going to be able to, you know, touch the wheel when I need to. But right now, I'm just going to let the car drive itself, as you can tell. And we'll just kind of go over a few things real quick. So, uh, as you have heard, a couple of things that have happened towards the end of the week. We had a wild Friday as we make a left-hand turn over here. A uh, real easy, simple left-hand turn, pulling into a uh, left-only and this light does have an arrow to make the left and we should be able to make this pretty easily i mean the, the car has been responding so well though just recently and i'm pretty pleased with a lot of the things that have happened especially at the stoplights and going on red not going on red see the car aggressively just takes that left hand turn signal nice as we make that left beautiful a uh, little force we got to put to the wheel and then I have it on auto and I do have it on aggressive se uh, settings mostly because as I've explained before the aggressive settings to me for my type of driving works for me now you can put it down to chill mode you can put it down to anything you like but for whatever works for you for me this setting works great and I like the assertiveness that it does make I like the fact that it actually uh, goes in on the right-hand side of traffic, uh, makes the lane changes when it needs to. So I do put it in that mode because that's the way that I normally drive. I'm not an, I'm not an aggressive driver, but I'm a driver that takes uh, some, you know, some chances and is very cautious uh, for that matter. And the car responds really well to it. There's times when you got to give it a little oomph, as I've said before too, is that you're you're in control of your car. You do what you need in order to make your car work uh, great for you. But I'm obviously driving with uh, no hands going on there. No hands, Ma, as they used to say. No hands, Ma. As you can see, there's a blue light that pops on. And you got to give a little tug to the wheel. Or you can do the scroll up and down. And the car takes some, some nice little uh, stopping as it goes around the turns here a little bit. And then we'll pull back. As you can tell, you can see that if you want the auto to go up and down, and be a little bit more on the aggressive side as far as uh, getting your speed up a little bit more. You can actually have it go a little bit further or just step on your on your pedal just kind of a little bit and it will pick up the speed a little bit, uh, especially to your speed limit that you're at. So basically, the, the features, you gotta play with them. You gotta feel out your car. What works for me, my car here on the East Coast doesn't work well as I, you know, I've, tried to prove this many times it doesn't work well in other areas and I did see a couple of people that were posting especially there's a couple of accounts that I follow on YouTube that you know, there's some that go into Manhattan you know and when you go into Manhattan it's a different situation you know you just you got to play with your car a little bit you know don't do what I do in my car because it's not going to work out uh, we are coming to a little bit of a, uh, a left-hand turn as you're going to be able to see over here and it's kind of like a little curve. We're going into it at 45, and it does say 30 to go over this bridge, so it pulls back a little bit, goes to 35, 
nice job just to pull back and then you can see obviously it will as we get through this turn here uh, another blue little nag comes up as we get through this turn and probably pick up a little bit and then probably go straight across the light um, but the good thing is is that you as the driver in your area control how you want your car to respond and that's the key thing I think a lot of people get confused with when you do see a lot of different videos as we are pulling up here we're going to be going through this car right about there and let's see we're pulling up slowly 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 and, and it will and I like this feature that the car will not get right on somebody's bumper it does have that little um, leeway of being back and I like that because I don't like when people are on my bumper so I like the fact that it actually stays back a little bit and <clears throat> you could change your car lengths of how you want to follow people as well but I try to stay anywhere from two to three car lengths back because you don't know how again we're running on computers here we're running on this navigation we're running on all of this stuff but those other cars are ridden by human humans <clears throat> And the human's interaction of whether you're going to follow closely and stuff and people want to get on your butt, that kind of thing. It's so annoying, and especially for somebody like me, where I just want to go where I want to go and have no issues and or problems. I don't feel that we should be riding on people's butts at all. You should give the, the courtesy of uh, actually, you know, whether it is, you know, um, whether it is uh, leaving the car in front of you, a little, little extra room, the car behind you and whatnot. And I like that feature that's on this car. But in any case, you can't change it. You can roll your scroll, as I call it, roll your scroll, and you can get your car to go a little bit closer to the other cars. But eh, for me, it works better this way. I like to have my distance, because you don't know what this guy's gonna do. He may make a right-hand turn too quick, not use his blinker, and then all of a sudden, you're in trouble. Uh, the car does, does really well with that extra room to be able to see what the guy in front of you is doing. And right now, the guy in front of me, obviously you guys can tell, he's you know probably a good maybe 10 car lengths in front of me. Uh, maybe a little, yeah, probably about somewhere in that range. And we're doing 42 and a 45. Uh, the good thing for me is that I'm comfortable with it, especially around in town. And then when there's nobody in front of you, yeah, you can be a little bit more aggressive. So in any case, we... Um, <clears throat> These new downloads have been really great, and I've used the Auto Park. The Auto Park has worked really well for me, and I, again, it's one of those things where, you know, there's some people that have done it, and the biggest thing for them is that it, it works a little slow, but if you're courtesy enough to actually, you know, talk to somebody as you're parking and let them know, and then where the car goes, nope. It, you shouldn't really be really aggressive when you're pulling into a parking lot as it is and there's only just like the people that are real jerks that want to just you know pull around you go in between you oh come on you're taking too long i i don't care i don't that's not i'm not worried about that i'm more worried about the car parking properly i'm more worried about you know going the right um speed and whatnot <clears throat> and then i'd get out of my car it happened the other day when i was at PetSmart when i would go buy some food for my dog and I got out, and the guy said to me, he goes, did you always use your blinker when you pull into your parking spot? <laughs> it's just funny. I'm like, no, nah, I don't usually do that. I said, the car is actually parking itself. He said, what? And I said, yeah, we have a new feature that's on the car that the car actually finds a parking spot and the computer parts itself. He goes, wow, that's really cool. And I said, yeah, that's basically, um, as I'm, you always want to keep yourself, I always keep myself a little more aware as, as you're making turns. <clears throat> mostly because a lot of people are saying so, a lot that has to do with curb rash but we'll get that to, in a couple seconds but as I make a turn I usually hold out to the wheel a little bit if you see me doing that that's the reason why but the car is still obviously still just driving itself and doing its own thing and it was funny that he said that to me and we just had a little bit of a conversation going back and forth back and forth and he just couldn't believe that the car actually parked itself. I said, that's why the reason why it was giving the person in front of me or behind me, knowing exactly where I was going to be parking, it turns on its blinker and it pulls in uh, backwards. And for, from the standpoint for me, I think mostly because we don't have cameras in the front part of our car, except for the one that's up here. I think that 
the reason that we're not having us pull in is because of a camera not on the bumper. See, in the back, we have the camera that sits on the trunk, and that can see how close you can get. That's my, that's, again, I have no knowledge of it, but that would be my opinion on it, is that you have a camera in the rear, where as opposed to you don't have anything in the front besides this up here. So this really can't tell if you're gonna be, how close you're gonna get to a bumper or to a car or to like one of those little barriers that are in the front. And I would assume at some point that's gonna be um, there and they'll be putting those cameras in there uh, for the cars. That would be my guess, mostly because it's easier to pull in sometimes as opposed that it is to pull up, pull back, and do all those kind of things and then pull in backwards. So I'm assuming that must be the reason why. Again, if anybody knows anything different, please comment below. Let me know what you think. And also just give me an idea of how it, how this system's working for you, wherever you may be. And I think for, for the standpoint of where we're going with this system it seems like now that we're on this 12 uh version 12.3 and and going further is that we are set up as elon had said we are set up to do the robo taxis which is going to happen and clearly there's a discrepancy but there's just so many different opinions for everything you know how great it will be for the company how great it will be for everybody and honestly i think it's it's just the only the beginning for it. And I think at some point, everybody else will realize it. And you could see that some people are very hesitant to feel that, yeah, the car is going to be doing itself. And then what are you going to do about everybody else that's driving? You know, how, how are you going to put a robo taxi on the road with another human on the road? And eventually that stuff is going to just wind up phasing itself out at some point. You know, you're going to have more people that are taking the robos as opposed to you know, driving every single day, you know, and it would be great for, obviously, everybody had said about the passive income, it would be great for everybody to be able to do that, and I'm a firm believer in it, I think it'll be great, I think at some point, you know, just like a lot of things that have happened, even this past week that we had, you know, Elon come out and had to deny that story that happened in Reuters, it was such a joke, you know, as an avid investor and somebody who trades the market every single day, you know, there's there's things that really tick me off, but that's just one of those things where it does tick you off more than anything. You know, and I sent out a message on my ex account at Chef Joe 22 and, you know, follow me there if you want to see how uh, I do respond to a lot of those things. I was just like, can somebody please confirm this? Because this has to be for an investor like myself. You know, for somebody to put out a story like that and then inside the story, because you got to read inside the story and look at the crap that was just told. It's like it's nonsense, you know? You just don't know what to believe anymore sometimes. And for me, I just, I give it the old 24, 48 hour rule to believe something. But this one affected me because when you are trading the stock every single day, or if you're a long term holder, as I am too, I also play the options market. And when you're doing that, you know, that affects things big time, you know? And fortunately for us, we were able to get Elon to basically deny the story so quick. As you see a car pulling up here, I mean, the car is doing great here. I mean, do you guys even know that I'm driving? Uh, you know, the, the, the computer I mean, this is like, you, you never want to say it's boring, but um, the car is just doing fantastic right now. You know, driving the city streets and... Uh, inside the town and doing great you know we have um, the nags are, are one thing and I'm wondering if somebody could answer this is that do is there a way that I'm just gonna take a drink of water is there a way that the system could as we know that when you are holding on to the wheel right that I know you could also play with the toggle and you can go back and forth that even with that we're set up on auto, whether or not, as you can see that when you do get the blue line or it tells you to, um, you know, to put some stuff on the steering wheel, you, either you're doing some of the toggle here, can we also have something with like the gas pedal? Like, you know, can you tap on the gas pedal to make it go off as well? So I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. 
Or maybe somebody would know something better. But uh, I think the, uh, the the system itself is ready for the next level. And by Elon, you know, denying that story and then throwing out their 8-8, which is, you know, going to be a date for everybody to be able to follow. Now, we don't know exactly what it's going to be. We don't know if it's going to be an unveiling of a car. We don't know, you know, if it's going to be how he is looking at bringing the robo-taxi system forward. Was this a, a major breakthrough as they went through, you know, giving everybody a chance at, you know, 30 days free? Finally, we got the breakthrough that we needed. And I think that's probably where we're at, to be honest with you. I think that was the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, you know, that we are at that point. As we're going to pull in here, my destination is, is arrived here at the, the mall here. So then we're just going to kind of... Um, we're gonna kind of just pull in. I'll pull to the side, and let's just see how we're doing here. Yeah, we got. We still have to go up here a little bit and see how we do in uh, the parking lot. But I think overall, I think uh, once once we get a clue, you know, clearer picture, we should be okay. You know, um, I'm excited for this week. See how the stock reacts. Maybe we could uh, trade something. You know, that will be a little bit more action than what we've seen before. As we have completed all autopilot navigation complete. So now let's see where the car goes here. It's making a right. All right. If you guys want to see how it parks in a parking spot, check this out. We're actually pulling up to a stop here. We're not going anywhere. It's actually making a right. Let's see what we're doing here. What are we doing? What are we doing? That's it. All right. We're stopping. We're stopping. Okay. We got to go to Wegmans, actually, straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight here, and I want to show you the auto park. As everybody has seen it, probably if you're if you're on X, you've seen it before. You've seen how it works. But basically, you know, the you have a way to be able to pull up to your spot, pick your spot, where the car responds. Let's see how we do here. All right, so we're pulling up. I want to pull into this spot right here on the right in between so I'm gonna pick this one I chosen this spot right here and we're gonna stop all right and this is how we pull up okay and it's pretty wild as you can tell there we go we're going backwards I'm gonna pull a little bit closer to the store but why don't you see how it parks in between cars and how it does then the car will pull up and then pull back and you see, you know, I do have a, <laughs> I do have a spot in front of me, but you can't, obviously, we're not parking there, so, but as the car finds its spot, and the best thing about this is, is it's so good to where it actually parks so well in between the spots, it's kind of ridiculous how well it does, and there you go, we're in between two cars. You can't, you can't beat it. You know, it's so great. Look at this. Now we're, we're parked. So that was a little 18 minute ride and we're now at my destination. Um, let's see if I can get my phone to respond without actually falling off. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, there we go. So in any case, if you're all really excited for this week, like I am, I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked to be honest with you. This um, this situation that has to do with the robo taxis is is pretty pretty wild. I think that we're um, we're at an inflection point, like I said, and it will do the things that I think that it uh, it's capable of. the The good thing is is that we. We have a chance to be at the bottom portion of where this is. And as I've said this to many people before, is that I personally feel, and this is just my personal opinion, is that I personally feel at some point, you know, probably within the next couple of years, you definitely will see a, a, a bigger reaction to how the stock will react. 
mostly because of the revenues and the things that they have coming. I am myself looking into if the robo taxi things becomes like a a huge thing i am myself looking at uh possibly doing a small little kind of like little fleet so to speak of different tesla cars and whatnot and i think that'll be really cool for some passive income as well put them in whether it's going to put them in different cities and whatnot and you know, you could buy an EV right now, especially a Tesla. You could buy a 3 or you could buy a Y, literally in the mid-20s to 30s. And some of the ones that I'm looking at now are, you know, 15,000 miles, 16, 17,000 miles. And they're, realistically, they're about, I would say, you know, 21 to 28,000. And then you're getting, a, a you know, the tax credit and whatnot. It's, it's sick. It's literally sick, the price of it. Yeah, you have your battery and whatnot you're going to worry about and your and whatnot uh, that's going to wind up costing you if, God forbid, anything happens in the warranty. I get it. But it's definitely worth it. You know, it to me, it's worth it and where we're, where we're headed. So, you know, you make your own decisions. I make my own decisions. I personally feel that we are in a situation where we're at the bottom and, you know, I will be investing a lot more per se. Uh, it's not everything, but I do on my M1 account. Uh, that's where I do a lot with that has to do with my uh, investing on a um, long-term basis. My personal account is something totally different that I trade every day. And I just, I have more confidence now than I did before. And it's not because I feel that this part of it is, you know, the, the breaking point. But there's a lot of things that will make you come you know, to that moment that you feel that in two or three or four years, you know, you're going to be onto something just like everybody was when, you know, NVIDIA was, you know, two, three hundred dollars a share or uh, Super Micro was, you know, two hundred dollars a share or three hundred dollars a share when we were trading it. And most people turn around and say, oh, you know, you're, you're going to go to six hundred. No, you're going to go to seven hundred. You got to be in there when things are, you know, rough and you take your chances, just like I took my chances at 108.50. You know, most people don't realize that, that you know, we were buying this thing at 108.50 and 120 and 130, and then obviously it went up over 200. <clears throat> but at its peak, I just, I, I kind of realized that I was at the bottom portion of it and I was just waiting for it to just go and now that i'm in this situation where i could just wait um mostly because i think that it's it's got a lot more oomph to it and could i see tesla back to you know the five six seven hundred dollar range easy easy um based off of just revenues and based off of the energy based off of all the things that everybody's talking about but it's going to take some time. Be patient. Yeah, it's up and down, up and down. And it has its good points and bad points. Everybody has it. I, I was on a space call the other day. And, you know, listening to some of the guys that are obviously bearish on the, on the company and that in the stock. And some of the points they're making are just ridiculous, to be honest with you. Um, some of us just, you know, what would it hurt for somebody to just put $1,000 worth of their money and let it sit for a couple of years and then you become, you know, more of an idiot that you're sitting there going, oh, well, you know, it's not at scale. It's not this. The revenues are down and this thing is that, you know, when you're running a company like this, like Elon's running, you know, multiple companies and seeing what it takes in order to run these companies. And some of these people are just they're so asinine. I just have to say it's just so ridiculous that you have no idea what it takes in order to run a company, the size of this company. You know, having gigafactories everywhere, you know, looking to go into India, you know, looking to go into the major, major uh, countries <clears throat> and putting out this product to everybody within the world. They started, they didn't start, you know, with every, all the gigafactories everywhere. You know, you gotta look at it that, that way, you know, and, once you get to the point where there's giga everywhere, you know, and you got factories everywhere, you got the, uh, you know, the, um, the superchargers everywhere. Nobody else is doing this. Nobody. Nobody. You're not going to tell me EVgo or any of these other companies 
that have shit networks. I'm sorry, but sometimes I get a little, you know, passionate. Let's just put it that way. But have these shit networks and then they're going to turn around and they're going to say, oh, well, you know, they're not leading in this. They're not doing it. The Tesla's the only one doing it. The only one doing it. You know, and where I made my um, transition into this space, so to speak, it took a lot. You know, I've literally sat there for years with my gas guzzlers for a long, long time. But this is just, just there's no other way. You know, there's nothing else. You know, I, I think I, one of the spaces I will um, voice my opinion about it. But there's nobody, I'm that confident, but there's nobody in the world that's doing what they're doing. I don't, it doesn't matter. You know, I can't go literally in in, in another, uh, you know, car or whatever. I can't go that confidently knowing I'm going to pull up to a mall in a three, you know, like, a, you know, they have three different little stations uh, and then plug in and then get the hell out of there in, you know, 15 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever it is that I need to get a little charge on my car and pull away with no problem. Nobody's doing that. The only That's why everybody's coming to Tesla. Just remember that everyone is coming to them, period, full stop. They're coming to them. And if they're not coming to them, that's why their CEOs are, are taking the heat that they are by stopping and starting programs and getting so ridiculous with their shit that they got to stop and just realize that the network that Tesla fa that came up with, it's like one of those moments where you're like, we didn't come up with this idea, you know, we need to get on to something. You need to invest into Tesla and then to go to, to go that route. It's just it's so stupid and it's an idiotic thing for people to be able to look at it differently. But give them time. You know, they're running this company as the future, not to please everybody in the moment. We all want it yesterday, but it's gonna take tomorrow. And the next day and the next week for all of us to realize that we're on to something that is going to be pretty unique. And um, I'm pretty bullish on it, to be honest with you. I have my bare days, but I, I'm pretty bullish on it, though. And mostly because I, I do want my truck. I can't wait for this freaking cyber truck at some point. And I do want to get forward with uh, buying another car. I mean, I want another car. It's just there's just. Um, there's nothing else to say about it, to be honest with you. But anyways, so that was a nice little easy trip. That's the kind of trip that you take in, the, you know, version 12. It's nice and easy, and there's not a lot of stuff going around it. But if you're you're traveling around town, I don't like to drive that much anymore. So that's basically how I use the system. And um, it'll be great for you, too. So if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And let me know below in some comments. And I do keep, as a matter of fact, somebody made a comment about it the other day that I do, I do not restrict any comments and I'm going to try to find out what happens. But as I post up this video, I'm going to post it and I'm going to see if the comments are on this one. Just comment below and let me know that you could see the comments on there because you should be able to see it every single time. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. But in any case, everybody have a great day. I'm going to go cook some ribs for dinner. All right. Talk to you soon.